name is Francesca, I'm the operations manager here at Azure and Coffee Stores. Um, the shop has opened uh, since 1887. It's a very, very, very old shop, one of the oldest shops in London. It was originally opened by a Nigerian man in the city of Sand. Um, this over the years then went to a uh, Mr. Berman in 1928, and then in 1964, uh, Mr. Jones bought it. And it's been uh, in the family since, uh, with the Crochetta family. And Mr. Crochetta has been here for 40 years. So it's steeped in family tradition and uh, it's steeped in the heart of Soho. And uh, it's based in Soho as well, which is a fantastic location. Um, the reason why we work well in Soho is because we are not a cafe. We are not a shop that sells coffee where you can sit down. Uh, but we sell coffee uh, beans and loose tea. Um, and we do have a um, coffee machine on site. Um, but that's only a takeaway only. And the reason being is because you can actually try the coffee um, before you buy it, which everybody actually really enjoys. Um, because we've been around for so long, we have some very, very long-standing customers. Uh, what's fantastic about this is because we actually get to know customers by their first name. We recognise them when they come in, and uh, when we speak to them on the phone, they're always very, very happy to speak to us because we've known them for, for decades, some of them decades, some of them in their 80s, some of them in their 90s, so we have very, very long-standing customers. Um, what else can I say? Our favourite um, blend is the Formula Rossa, which is actually what we sell in our takeaway coffee. Um, it's one of our most popular blends um, and it is the best to be honest um, and you won't find it anywhere else because it's a house so we actually create it ourselves uh, mixing various types of, of coffee beans. Um, in terms of Soho, Soho has changed a lot over the years. Um, it still has uh, the quirkiness that it always has had um, but perhaps the old essence of Soho has, uh, has been lost a little bit over the years. Um, but people who come here will always remember the old Soho and um, I think the best thing about this shop is the old pictures and the furnitures haven't really changed over the years. So when you walk in here it actually feels as if you've been transported back into time, which is what I absolutely love about working here. Um, you walk in and you just feel as if you know you've been transported back in, in, in the centuries. Um, and the smell of course is amazing. And um, we always say to people, you know, even if you don't like tea, you don't like coffee, you've got to come here because it's an institution that's been around for so long. It's steeped in the London uh, history. And even if you don't like tea or coffee, there's always a confectionery that will, uh, that will tempt anybody, literally anybody. Um, is because we're not a uh, coffee shop, we don't have any seating. Um, so the reason being, like I said, is you know you actually get to have a little taster before you buy. Um, and I think this actually blends quite nicely with Soho because in Soho you have a lot of coffee shops where you can sit down, relax, um, where we don't offer that. So in fact, we actually complement each other. We don't have the sitting down uh, part of it, but we have coffee. You know, if you want coffee, this is the place to come. Good day, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm not to Thank you. 